Hello, this is another and uh, probably for now it will be the last one video in my series of uh, small comparisons of uh, Campfire Audio Atlas with uh, other IEMs. So this time I will compare them with second flagship from the Campfire Audio with Andromedas. Currently my Andromedas uh, looking uh, like this. Uh, I've ordered for them custom tips. I've uh, I will cover them in the other video, but actually I will compare do the, this comparison with stock version, with universal fit version, because it's a bit of uh, unfair comparison for now, I think, because now they've got perfect fit and perfect isolation and really boost in terms of sound. So never don't look uh, at the at their current design it's let's let's pretend that it is uh, stock on uh, andromedas so for quite a lot of time andromedas are a flagship model from the campfire audio and it is their multi-balanced armature driver flagship and uh, they are currently having two different flagships and uh, i think it is a sm smart move from their side because they're offering two styles uh, of uh, sound two types of sound so andromeda is closer to neutrality they are really super detailed as, as you can probably expect from the balanced armatures with uh, neutral uncolored mids uh, with uh, extended treble and with tight punchy but actually a bit drier armature lower frequencies they have big three-dimensional sound stage with uh, probably smaller instruments than in atlas and atlas is dynamic driver flagship it offers uh, much more weighty and much more present at lower frequencies and uh, they really go super deep actually they are deeper than uh, andromedas and they are a bit slower but actually they are not slow they are pretty good in terms of speed but they are slower than andromedas uh, armature lower frequencies so they are a bit slower but they are more weighty and they giving more punch more more energy in lower frequencies Mids here are a bit recessed compared with Andromedas because Andromedas have, I say, I think probably almost linear uh, frequency response. Maybe not, but closer to linear. Here mids are recessed more than in Andromedas, but uh, in terms of imaginary stage, actually, most surprising thing is that Atlas uh, having, you know, this sense of big speaker system at least for me they giving like you know lot of sound really they it's a kind of i don't know in if we speaking about some uh, art it's kind of impress impressionism so they're using uh, this uh, bright colors bright in, or in their case bright sounds and they are really great in building the depths and layering so they probably better build depths but andromedas are a bit better in widths and as for treble actually they have also really great treble and I, i'd say they are more lively actually in treble more natural in treble for me so okay it's actually really hard to answer the question which one of those two you have you'd uh, you should prefer because they both are great and i can really suggest you to have them both and probably also buy a pair of comets because you know all every single uh, iems from campfire audio are really worthy and really interesting model but uh, this one i'd prefer more for, for i don't know for some uh, chamber music for vocal music for those uh, genre and for those genre and styles which uh, require the most detailed meets with tons of micro nuances and those i prefer more with jazz with probably classic rock uh, with uh, actually i prefer them more with uh, symphonic uh, orchestras with classical music because they have you know this sense of big orchestra and really engaging they are not always uh, 
natural when it uh, when we're speaking about the sound of the orchestra but it's kind of impressive uh, coloration which really increases the sense of uh, presence and sense of drama and realism so they are probably very different and uh, I see I'd say that it's hard to choose only one and I definitely will keep them both in my collection because I enjoy them both and uh, also I should mention probably feet as you can see those are done in universal shape so they're fitting better than stock Andromedas but it's easily solvable even for Andromedas as for prices if I remember right Andromedas cost 1100 or 1200 dollars and the Vegas costs 1300 dollars so actually price difference isn't big because and it's logical because they both offer you know similar level of quality just a different but really really different representation and you should choose uh, depending on what style of sound representation you'd like to have thank you for attention